Hello, today I want to talk about the series compensation for transmission lines. Let us assume that you have a region which is starting over time to consume more power than you can generate, so the balance uh, would be out of control and that would be visualized so that the frequency gets lower and lower. So I just want to show you how this would look like. So now I have more power consumption than power generation. The frequency would go down and the only option you would have then is that you would build a long line to another region which has surplus power. The remote power would be 600 kilometers away so I would have to build a very long line. Let's do that now. So I have now added my very long line. These are two 300 kilometer segments, so it's a 600 kilometer line. I have two breakers at each end of the line. I would have a 400 kV system. This is just one phase representation. So I have here power generation of 300 megawatt, and here I have another 300 megawatt. 300 megawatt are for one phase only, so per source I would have in the three phase system a 3 times 300 megawatt. What I'm doing now, I start to support my local power generation through the remote end generation and to do so I increase the torque on the remote end and when I increase the torque at the remote end I have more real power which is transmitted from the remote end to the load center and when I do so what you can observe is that the phase angle between the remote source and the local source, this phase angle is starting to increase. If now the phase angle is starting to be close to 90 degrees, I start to lose the synchronism between the two generations and then I would lose stability. Now I approach 90 degrees and you see as soon as I have my 90 degrees I lose stability. In order to reduce the phase angle between the remote generation and the local generation, I can reduce the apparent length of the transmission line by inserting a capacitor in the middle of the lines. I have now built this capacitor in the middle of the line and you can see now what happens. Now the capacitor is short circuit, that means not effective. Now I remove the short circuit and you will see how the phase angle difference between sending and receiving end is, show, is smaller. So you have now seen how it gets smaller. That means I can now, through the same line, I can now still increase uh, the power without putting the stability of the system in danger. As a conclusion, the maximum real power which can be transmitted over a long line is equal to the voltage at the sending end times the voltage at the receiving end divided by the series reactance of the line times the sinus of the phasor angle between the sending end and the receiving end voltage phasor. The phasor angle between the sending end and the receiving end should never exceed 15 to 30 degrees so that also during transient conditions it never gets to 90 degrees, otherwise we immediately lose stability. By introducing a series capacitor, preferably in the middle of the line, I can compensate the reactive power, a part of the reactive power of the transmission line, and so reduce the phase angle between the sending and the receiving end. By doing so, I can push more power through the same line corridor. Go to the simulator in order to get yourself acquainted with the, the effect which I have demonstrated. Learning by doing is always the fastest and most efficient way to get to know something new.